A Numberful Wednesday, kids! Join me as we learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. I am Teacher Tin and welcome to our class. Have you ever tried taking a walk around your neighborhood before? Were you able to spot one, two, and three digit numbers? Can you read them aloud? Fantastic! If people just read numbers randomly, no one would know which numbers they meant. That's why it's important to understand the place value of numbers. Today, we're going to talk about place values. As we count how many ones, tens, and hundreds there are, we will answer these three questions. First, what is place value? Second, what do we need to remember when finding the place value of numbers? And third, why do we need to learn about place values? Are you excited to answer these questions? Come on and let's begin our numberful journey. First, let's recall how to write numbers. We write numbers using 10 symbols. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. These numbers can also be called digits. Take note, kids, that where we place these digits are important. Let's find out why. All numbers are made up of digits and every digit in a number has a place value. But what are place values? Hmm. Place value tells us how numbers are related to each other. It is the value of where a digit is in the number. It is also essential for reading, writing, and operating with numbers of all sizes. Understanding place value helps us recognize patterns in numbers and the order of numbers. Now imagine this. If someone offered you 50 pesos or 500 pesos, which money will you get? Knowing the place value will help you know that 500 is greater than 50. So, you should get 500 if you want a greater amount of money. Remember, the digits can be the same, but its value depends on where it is in the number. Let's understand more about place value. Take a look at these blocks. These blocks represent numbers and can be used in studying place values. How many yellow blocks can you see? Very good! There are 9 yellow blocks. To count from 1 to 9, we only need 1 digit. This digit represents the first place value, which is called ones. Now let me ask you, what happens if we have more than 9 blocks? Awesome! When we have more than 9 blocks, we will start using 2 digits. If you added 1 block to the 9 blocks earlier, you will get 10. 10 ones make up the next larger place value, which is called tens. Look at how I regrouped this 10 ones into one group of one tens. So, the number 10 is made up of one tens and zero ones. How about if I added three more blocks to 10? How many tens and ones are there now? Good job! We will get one ten and three ones. Keep in mind, kids, that the digits at the ones place count as one each while the digits at the tens place count as ten each. So, which number do these blocks represent now? Very good! 
one ten and three ones make up thirteen. Were you able to follow that? Let's see. Can you tell me which number these blocks represent? Let's start. What does one ten and nine ones represent? Very good. The answer is nineteen. How about this? Nice. After nineteen, you'll regroup the ten ones into another ten, so you will get two tens here. And what does two tens and zero ones represent? That's correct. The answer is twenty. Always remember that if you have ten ones, you will need to regroup it into another ten. So it will go like this: ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, and ninety. It's like you're just skip counting by tens. Simple, right? Even though there are only ten different digits to make numbers with. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We can still make really big numbers using two or more digits. Come on, let's try some more. What does four tens and eight ones represent? Awesome. The answer is. Forty-eight. What does nine tens and nine ones represent? Great. The answer is ninety-nine. This time, imagine if I added one block to the ninety-nine blocks earlier. How many do we have now? Fantastic. We will now get one hundred. Ten tens make up the next larger place value, which is called hundreds. Look at how I regrouped this ten tens into one group of hundreds. So the number one hundred is made up of one hundreds. Zero tens and zero ones. How about if I added two tens and five ones to one hundred? How many hundreds, tens, and ones are there now? Good job. We will get one hundred, two tens, and five ones. Keep in mind, kids, that the digits at the ones place. Count as one each. The digits at the tens place count as ten each, and the digits at the hundreds place count as one hundred each. So, which number do these blocks represent now? Good job. One hundred, two tens, and five ones make up one hundred twenty-five. Take note that the digits on the left have a bigger place value. Let's try some more kids. What does one hundred, four tens, and seven ones represent? Nice. The answer is one hundred forty-seven. What does four hundreds, six tens, and three ones represent? Correct. The answer is four hundred sixty-three. You did great, kids. Now let's go back to our three questions earlier. Place value is the value where a digit is in the number.
numbers from 1 to 9 represent the first place value, which is called 1s. 10 ones make up the next place value, which is called 10s. And 10 tens make up the next place value, which is called 100s. Take note that the digits on the left side have a bigger place value. Place value tells us how numbers are related to each other. It is also essential to reading, writing, and operating with numbers of all sizes. Understanding place value helps us recognize patterns in numbers and the order of numbers. Wow! That's it for our discussion today. I hope you learned a lot about place values today. If you did, click thumbs up and share this video to help young learners like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Again, this is Teacher Tin and see you on our next Number Full Wednesday.